you are most likely a victim of these 10 misconceptions about Atmakark. The first misconception is the Atmakark is always bad. I don't know from where this has come, the Atmakark. I get people all the time, they're asking me, my Atmakark is Venus. Should I never get married? And I'm like, who said so? Oh, so and so, as well, just said, you know. Anyways, nonetheless, the Atmakark is not just bad. So just because your Atmakark is Venus, it does not mean you should not marry. Or just because it's Saturn or Sun, it does not mean your career is ruined. So, please check the Atmakarts placement. Only then you should decide. Okay, very, very, very important. Otherwise, you you will go wrong when you're making predictions because you'll be very judgmental. Oh, Atmakar gone. Okay. Or people say, you know, if Atma is, you know, like seventh lord, then your marriage is ruined or you know, tenth lord career is ruined. All nonsense. This is not correct. Okay. Number two. The Atmakarak is always good. Venus is my Atmakarak, so I'll always have a great marriage. Seventh Lord is my Atmakarak, so marriage will always be great. So other one is also false. So just because it is not just bad, it is also not just good, okay? So for example, if your Atmakarak is in a particular house, dignity, you have to study it just like you study another planet. So don't think... The Atmakarga is just good or bad because it is Atmakarga. It is not your savior, nor is it a plan that curses you. Okay. Number three, the Atmakarga's Dasha is always good or bad. So, this is one general thing like Venus is Atmakarga, so it is always good for marriage or always bad. The other thing is, oh, Venus Dasha has come. It will be, you know, most fantastic or, or it will be the worst. Okay. Worst Dasha. So, you need to get rid of this. So, Neither is it just good bad because it is Atmakarak, nor is the Dasha just good bad. Okay. Number four, the Atmakaraka's placement shows your full life focus. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, yes, it can show in some cases. If your Atmakaraka is also the Laknesh, you know, or your sun or moon is also the Atmakaraka, it can. But even then, it's a part. Life purpose has to be seen from the overall chart. Oh, the nine planets freaking matter, my dear sir, my dear madam. It's not just one planet. Even if your Atma Karak is the Lagna Lord, even if your sun, sun moon oh, is your Atma Karak, even then you need to see every planet. Therefore, don't think that just one planet will come and, you know, dictate what's going on in the chart. Okay, that, that won't happen. So the Atma Karaka can show something very important which is a part of your life purpose because it's a part of your soul's journey. But it does not mean uh, that it shows the entire thing. So for example, if your Atma Karaka is in the 7th house, it does not mean that you know, you'll have a dramatic marriage and you know, like all the craziness of the world will come. Or... You know, it does not, no, it certainly does not mean that, you know, you have to just keep getting married. Or it also does not mean, you know, if you don't get married, there are problems. So, these are, these things overcomplicate, okay? So, therefore, please understand that you need to study the Atma Karak properly and not just, you know, blindly, okay? Number five, the Atma Karak is a competitor to the Lagna Lord. This is again false. Now, this is not there as a myth, but somehow people think like this. They think, oh, you know, the Atma Karak is more important than the Lagna Lord. Okay, so if I ask you the hand or the leg, which is more important, what will you say? Well, every limb, every organ of the body has a very specific importance. So therefore, <laughs> you cannot say Atma Karak is more important. The Atma Karak shows uh, the experiences at a soul level. But the Lagna Lord will show the focus. So both are very, very, very important. Is there harmony between the Lagnesh and the Atmakar? That is maybe one of the most important things that you need to see in a horoscope, okay? And if the harmony is not there, you have to see how can you establish that harmony, okay? Number six, Atmakar conjunct Amatya Karak is always good for career. This is, this is also new. Now, this can be, but see what this can mean is that you are quite involved with your profession. Now, but this can go either ways. It means, you know, you have a lot of debts to pay in, in this life and, you know, you are just paying off people who are earning 18 hours, 20 hours a day. So, just because you are earning, uh, you are you are working uh, 10 hours or not 10, you know, 15, 20 hours a day, does it mean you are successful? Well, 
There's so many people who are working like, you know, 18, 20 hours a day, but many of them are not millionaires or billionaires or forget, you know, they may just be sustaining themselves. Okay, so this can be good only if your uh, horoscope is positive for career okay, and you get the right dashas after the age of 22. Otherwise, uh, this can be on the negative end. So be very careful be before you make these judgments, okay? <laughs> Number eight. Good Atma Karak is good and bad Atma Karak is always bad. So for example, if your Atma Karak is Venus, you think, okay, Venus is exalted. So my married life will always be good. No, it does not mean that. So you need to check the 7th house, 2nd house, you know, 11th house and all this. So don't ignore everything else, okay? So you need to understand that this is very, very, very important, okay? So a good Atma Karak can be good in a sense that uh, if, if the Atma Karak is exalted, own sign or multi core, it can give you uh, it, it can give you a lot of lessons in a good way. So for example, suppose your seventh lord is Atma Karak and that is exalted. So you can have a good married life and later on you become kind of detached, okay? So that could be one thing. And if the uh, Atma Karak is bad, it can make you learn lessons in a bad way. But for that, the overall chart has to support. So, for example, your, suppose, seventh lord is, you know, Atmakar and exalted. But what if your majority planets of your chart, they are indicating the sixth house, tenth house. So, then there is no marriage or bad marriage. Okay, so then the good Atmakar will give you lessons in a different way. Okay, so you have to analyze properly. And I missed uh, this one, number seven. Atmakar, Dharakar, conjunct. You must get married or... No, uh, a marriage is very good or marriage is very bad. Okay, so Dharaka planet with least degree, Atmakar planet with highest degree, they are sitting together or they are mutually aspecting each other. This does not dictate your married life. Okay, so uh, it it may mean certain things, but certainly it does not mean extremes. Okay, so for example, if you know, Atmakar and Dal uh, Dharaka are together. Uh, suppose in the fifth house, okay, so then it can mean, you know, you have more inclination towards love affairs, you know, you are very, very romantic or something like It can mean if the world chart supports. But does it mean uh, you will have a good marriage or a bad marriage or does it mean you will only marry? You may say, no, I just want to have relationships and not marry, okay. So, therefore, you need to understand that this is not a dictum for marriage. If the overall chart is bad for marriage, then marriage will be bad, okay? Or if it is good, it will be good. Number nine, Atma Karak in the Navamsha Lagna, you must marry. Or Atma Karak in the you know, Dashamsha Lagna, you, you must do business, something like this, okay? Or Atma Karak in uh, Saptamsha, you must have children, right? something like that, okay? So, or the other way around, you know, if Atma Karak is in D9 Lagna but afflicted or debilitated, you know, you should not get married, you know. So, some, some uh, very extreme statement, okay. So, this is also not correct. Just because your Atma Karak is in D9 in a good thing, it is not uh, an indicator of, you know, a good marriage or something like, you know, you must marry or if you don't marry, your soul lessons will not be learned, or if it is in a back dignity, you, you, you should, uh, you know, you have already learned the lessons from the previous lifetimes. No, it does not mean that, okay? <clears throat> so, see the overall chart, and then also you analyze the Atmakara, okay? So, these are very specific meanings, actually. And number 10, the Atmakara shows all your pending karma of lifetimes. So, wherever the Atmakara is, there is all your pending karma. So, Atmakara in 7th, all the pending karma is related to marriage and there is nothing to with career. This is also false, okay? Which means, you have to see, now, if the Atmakara is associated with the 6th, 8th or 12th, then there is more negative karma which is involved. But that's true with any other plan, okay? So, that means you will learn lessons the hard way. And if the Atmakara is involved with 5th, 9th, 10th, 11th, then you will learn lessons very easily, you know, by, in the right way, good way, easy way. Like you will see somebody is drinking at, if Atma Karaka is in 5th or 5th Lord or 9th or 9th Lord, then uh, you will see somebody is drinking and you will look, this person was drinking and he just, you know, left his body, so maybe I shouldn't drink, okay? So, this is how it happens, okay? 
but it does not mean a pot arc is in fifth so uh, you know you will have like too many nice children or you know you will have a very rough relationship with children so it does not mean that okay so in short why i made this video is because many people they ask all these questions to me and when i see i i understand that you feel you know there is there are extremities involved with the aqua dark so get rid of these extremities and treat it just like another plant but by knowing what is the aqua dark what is uh, what does the aqua dark show all right thank you so much don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you are if you haven't uh, already and if you like this video of course and if you are new then don't forget to subscribe down below and for personalized consultations you can find my website below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him for sure. Take care.